Gracious God, our hearts are filled with great happiness on this wedding day of Scott and Sierra. They come before you pledging their lives and their hearts to one another. Grant that they may be ever true and loving, living together in such a way as to never bring heartbreak into their marriage. May their home truly be a place of love and harmony where your spirit is ever present. Lord, bless the beautiful couple with love and hope. Keep alive forever the vows they pledge today. May you bless their wedding day and walk beside them through all their life together. May peace and joy be with them now and forever. Amen. Spark, every time I see you. Stars, when you walk in the room. There's no such thing as ordinary. Really, we are quite start a fire I want to keep you warm come and strike up the choir throw open all the doors oh I've looked low and high and I've never been so sure I am yours won't you be Darling, let's start a fire. I want to keep you warm. Come and strike up the choir. Throw open all the doors. Oh, I've looked low and high and I've never been so sure. I am yours. You And how the stars burn bright Now that I am yours And you are mine Now that I am yours And you are mine Thank you. 
We're here to celebrate the union of two souls where two hearts are already united. We are here to witness the joining of Scott and Sierra in marriage. We are here because two people fell in love. If there's anyone here who has just caused why these two should not be married today, just keep it to yourself. We don't need that kind of negativity here. <laughs> Sierra, take you, Scott, to be my lawfully wedded husband, my constant friend, my faithful partner, and my love from this day forward. In the presence of God, our family and friend, I offer you my solemn vow to be your faithful partner in sickness and in health, in joy and in sorrow, and in life as well as in death. I promise to love you unconditionally, to honor and respect you, to laugh with you and to cry with you, and to cherish you both in this life and in next. I, Scott, take you, Sierra, to be my lawfully wedded wife, my constant friend, my faithful partner, and my love from this day forward. In the presence of God, our family and friends, I offer you my solemn vow to be your faithful partner in sickness and in health, in joy and in sorrow, and in life as well as in death. I promise to love you unconditionally, to honor and respect you, to laugh with you, and to cry with you, and to cherish you both in this life and the next. This ring is my promise to accept your imperfections and recognize your beauty by placing it on your finger. I promise to love you as my husband. I promise to love you as my wife for as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride.
special day. I know that when you have a small, intimate wedding like this, uh, making the guest list is no easy task, and I'm honored to have made the cut. When Scotty asked me to make this speech, I could tell that it was really something special. It meant a lot to him. But when he sent me a heartfelt text message saying, hey, I guess you have to make a speech or something, just a heads up, I could tell that this was very important to him, and don't worry, I won't let you down. Uh, and when Scott and I first met, I'll be honest, he was kind of lame. He basically had no friends, and he just laid around and cried a lot. Uh, Scotty in those early days was a lot like me in my mid-twenties. But uh, we hung out in a lot of the same places, like the living room of our house, and eventually we got to know each other a bit. And I remember exactly what he said when I asked if she could be the one. He stopped, looked me in the eyes, and said, yeah, probably. I like her, man. I was shocked. <laughs> I'd never heard Scotty be so open about his feelings. And I knew that she was someone special. You know, then I met her, and it was pretty apparent right from the beginning that she was perfect for him. Now that Scotty and I are both adults, we finally reached a point where we're just comfortable friends. And it's a pretty amazing feeling to sit with your brother, someone that you've known for the entire time they've been on this earth, and to be able to look back on their life how they've changed, grown, succeeded, and become someone that you not only love, because I've always loved you, Scotty, even when you were just a boring baby, but someone that you're genuinely proud to have in your life, not because he's my brother and I have to, but because he's a friend that I can't imagine my life without. You and Sierra make an amazing couple, and I have no doubt that your future is filled with happiness, laughter, success, and all of the good things that life has to offer. To my brother, and now my sister, congratulations on finding one another. 